Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, so the stock for today is going to be Corsair, ticker symbol CRSR. Uh, so let's get into it. Let's get into the reasons why I'm choosing Corsair. Uh, so we have three reasons. The first of them is they have top of the line RGB fans. And I actually heard about the RGB fans from one of my friends who's really into gaming. And he told me about how good they are and also about Corsair. And then I looked into my, it myself, and then I was uh, on the Amazon review page. So I was looking at the Amazon reviews for Corsair, and you can see here, Corsair has over 3,000 positive reviews for their fans. Well, maybe not all of them are positive, but they have five stars, and it's over 3,000. And also for this one, it's over 2,600, which is quite a lot. And then... Also, when I was on the Amazon page looking at all these RGB fans, I noticed that there's other other companies like Corsair's competition that makes fans as well. So I was looking at the, their competition, and for those companies, they did have several positive reviews on them, but they didn't have nearly as many reviews as Corsair did. So like. Maybe they would have a few hundred or maybe 1,000, but I didn't see any with like 3,000. So that's another reason why I think it's a good company. And also, uh, we did number one. Re reason number two is their power supply for desktops. So I heard about their power supplies from uh, one of my college roommates. He was actually a an electrical engineering major. So he knows about electrical engineering stuff, and he told me that whenever he builds a computer, he would always make do his best to make sure that he could put in a Corsair power supply unit. And I'm, I'm not sure the exact reason why, but he said Corsair, there's something about Corsair's power supply units that other companies cannot duplicate. And then I was looking into it a little more, and then I noticed that one of my... Uh, favorite streamer, Zizarin. For those of you guys who don't know who Zizarin is, he's a Path of Exile streamer. I'm, I'm a big Path of Exile fan, and sometimes I watch his streams. And anyways, I was looking at his Twitch page, and I noticed that Zizarin has a, uh, has a section that shows what computer parts he has in his computer setup. And I noticed that he also has a Corsair power supply unit. This one's to be specific. And not only does he just have a Corsair power supply in it, he also has Corsair RAM and also a Corsair case. So those are those are other big factors into deciding why I chose Corsair. Uh, let's see, let's go on to number three. Number three is good financials. So for financials, let's take a look at the statement of operations. Uh, for this, I usually look at net revenue. Just to keep things simple, you want to make sure that it that the net revenue goes up over time. So you can, if you look here, three months ended. So for the past three months, from September 30th, 2019, it was this. And then from September 30th, 2020, it's this. The main thing to look for is this higher than this. And it is. So that's good. Same thing here for nine months ended. September 20, 30th, 2019 to September 30th, 2020. Is this higher than this? It is, so it's good. Simple as that. And also you want to look at net income, which is like their profit. You want to make sure the one for the newer one is higher than the older one. So is this higher than this? It is, so it's good. Is this higher than this? It is, so it's good. So that's a statement of operations. Next, let's get into the stuff I look for on the balance sheet. Uh, for balance sheet, I like to look at their cash on hand. That's like the cash that they have in their bank account. Uh, so for September 30th, 2020th, we have we see it here. And also December 31st, 2019 here. So the newer one is higher than the older one. So that's good. And also I like to look at current assets versus current liabilities. Just to keep things simple, I like to think of current assets as like uh, their cash on hand 
and maybe like stuff that they could turn into cash pretty pretty easily. And also current liabilities, I like to think of that as bills that they have to pay pretty soon. So if you look at uh, total current liabilities, you can see that here. And you compare that to current assets, you see that here. I want to make sure that the current assets are higher than the current liabilities. So if you look at this versus this, this is higher than this. And also this is higher than this, so it's good. And I think that's pretty much it. Let's see. Yeah, uh, so those are the top three reasons why I think Corsair is a good company. They have really good RGB fans. Uh, their power supplies are good. And also they have good financials. And also some final notes. Uh, well, let me go over the links first. Uh, so in the description, you can see that I've put the price of Corsair for 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today. I'm actually pre-recording this video, so I'll put whatever price Corsair is at today in the link in the description, and then I'm going to put that in the spreadsheet too. So you'll also see a link to the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet should contain every stock I've recommended for this portfolio, and also like the buy price and also the price compared to the spider. I'll get into the spider a little bit later. Uh, but yeah, also you'll see the link to the financial statements. So just to recap, the financial statements are these things, so this and this. So you can actually look at the, you can look at the website where I got it from if you want. And also a link to Zizarin's computer setup showing his Corsair power supply. So if you want to look at the website for where I got this, this, and this, you can look at it there. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And oh, also about the spider, the SPY. So for those of you who don't know, my goal is to make a portfolio that will outperform the spider, which is kind of like, uh, think of the spider as like a class average. So you know how you were back in school, like maybe you were in high school and everything was graded on the curve? So like maybe you're in math class and then the curve is maybe like, I don't know, 50%. So you had, if you got 50% on a test or like on, on a final exam or something, that 50% was the average, so that was a C. Anything above 50% that was like a B or an A. Well, the SPY, the spider, is like the curve. So you want to get above the curve, perform better than average. So I'm trying to do that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, oh yeah, and then in the spreadsheet, I'll also have the prices to the SPY, the spider. And then I'll be comparing my performance to that to see if I can actually do better than average. So yeah, that's it for today's video. And uh, one more time, if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.